got Merck, Michael Sweeney, 70 year old, got Merck in traffic. They thought it was road rage. This is the second one this week, man. Glad it's getting taken out by Sun Men during hits, man. For decades, investigators say Sweeney was in a car with two women, one of whom bought drugs while they were at a BP station on Montana Avenue from this man, Randall Mickey. The prosecutor says that he thought the woman shortchanged him, then followed Sweeney's car to confront her. He's accused of shooting Sweeney in the head. After he crashed, Kimberly Craigwell told police the shooting was road rage. She now is charged with obstructing justice. She? Oh. That's a woman? No, the other woman. It was, it was two women in the car. The woman who bought the drugs from him, who he said shorted her, that's the reason he pulled up on them on the highway and confronted them. Oh, uh, okay. Son, man, brave. Like, he pulled up on the highway like, yo, we going to have it. We going to... You can't be afraid of police doing shit like this, man. Like, yo, stop traffic on the highway. You sure to be with my drugs, man. We got to settle this right here. Hey, you fucked art, dude, man. They got to know your fucking business. Oh, yeah, you want to get in it? Bam, dead right here on the fucking highway while we stop traffic. And now it's going to fucking go about my business. Like, some men literally are operating like fucking... Rambo out this motherfucker. It's crazy, man. Damn. Of a prominent local businessman, the prosecutor now says his shooting was over drug money, not the result of road rage as first thought. 70-year-old Michael Sweeney was killed May 13th on I-75 near Mitchell Avenue. He worked in the local automobile industry for more than four decades. Investigators say Sweeney was in a car with two women, one of whom bought drugs while they were at a BP station on Montana Avenue from this man, Randall Mickey. The prosecutor says that he thought the woman shortchanged him, then followed Sweeney's car to confront her. He's accused of shooting Sweeney in the head, after he crashed, Kimberly Craigwell told police the shooting was road rage. She now is charged with obstructing justice. It's a drastic step by a business owner surrounded by crime and blight, asking city officials to turn over the public street where his business is located so he can clean it up himself. Thanks for staying with us. Lots to get to here. It's happening in the city of Sacramento. That's right. So let's show you right where it's at along Altos Avenue. CBS 13 Steve Large is live there right now with the problem property. Steve? Well, there's a North Sac business owner who says the city hasn't been doing its job to clean this block up, so he will. And now the city is telling him it's all yours. Let's talk about how long have you been here as an owner? Uh, I think I bought it in 2018. Kabul Singh bought this North Sacramento gas station and reopened it after it had been sitting vacant for five. Why is it that they're the only ones that can buy gas stations? Why? I've never seen a fucking son own a gas station. I, I know some black people that own a gas station in Memphis. Okay, so. But her husband is um, Middle Eastern. It counts. Well, that went, that went <laughs> off the rails quick. So the salute to um, GG Ryder, man. He says, here's a $10 bill that's lightly coated in brown sugar. All right, man. That's good, man. Salute. Is this Patel right here? Patel, yeah. man? Yes. Yeah, man. How come? What? What? What, what is it that with y'all? Do y'all have like some secret, like, like hookup with gas stations? Why is it always y'all? Patel, man. Patel? Talk to me. I'm not a Patel. I'm Filipino. He's, he's, he's Filipino. Oh, you're Filipino. Okay. You're yeah, a damn. Pacquiao. You're racist. You're a Pacquiao. You're a Pacquiao. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, but y'all were on us one before us, too. Like, shit. Like, we the last. Like, we the, like if it was fucking nobody on the fucking planet but some people, a goddamn fucking chimpanzees would run every fucking gas station and corner store, man. It's reputation. Like, reputation? The fuck? Like, you can't. Well, I mean, you know, I told you, Oct, they got programs to get Indians into these businesses. Like, they give them preferential loans to get them mm. over here. Mm. And then when they got to pay the loan back, they just moving into another family member's name 
and kick the can down the road. No, but 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 still, even with that, this is a great country full of opportunity. You have all types of wealthy sun people. They just aren't interested in gas stations. We aren't interested in that shit. There's no excuse why sun people shouldn't own at least a, a couple of gas stations in every. Why would you do that though when you can be a rapper? True indeed. There you go. Makes sense. Thing bought this North Sacramento gas station and reopened it after it had been sitting vacant for five years. The problems surrounding yeah, it are this easy. This place to- had been sitting vacant for five years. The sun man. Opened it after it had been sitting vacant for five years. The problems surrounding it are easy to see. This is Altos Avenue. This is Altos Avenue. Altos Avenue is a partially paved street that runs behind Singh's business, lined with a homeless encampment, crime, and blight. They lighted up fire doing a barbecue and stuff like that. That This building caught fire. The area is so bad, Singh can't get liability insurance to cover it. Today, I got declined from almost uh, eight or nine insurances. He shared this email from his insurance broker reading coverage was declined because of crime scores in the area. You hear that, some people? You hear that? Oh, we can loot their business. They got insurance. Insurance will pay for it. It's just for our reparations. Not quite, man. Not quite. Not quite, man. I always thought that was said in jest. Like they, they really don't care if insurance covers the damage. Yeah, that's that's true. They, they don't it's a cop out. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Yeah, that's true. That's true. They don't give a shit about much, man. Um, <laughs> fuck, man. I'm telling you, man. Um, my God. Um, go ahead, comment, Mac Knight, so I can um mod you up. You gotta make a comment in the um the chat. Yeah, I mean, yeah, some people don't give a shit about nothing, man. We don't give a fuck, man. God. Hey, you know how you mentioned uh, Patel's running gas stations. The same goes for subways. Subway, oh yeah, subways that definitely without a doubt. Yeah, that's their thing everywhere. Um the motels. Yeah, like some people don't own anything, man. Even in their neighborhoods, which is just fucking sad, man. Right, because they live around other some people and figure it ain't worth the investment. <laughs> it's gotta be something to it, yeah, because if 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 people can't get insurance because opening the rest of anything in their neighborhood, he said eight or nine fucking turn them down for insurance, man. Eight or nine of them. Shit. Like Ak, how would you, how would you run a gas how would you run a gas station in the sun sun neighborhood? As a sun man, yeah, it would be the people would be asking for free gas and shit. Because you're a sun, <laughs> yeah, like and like, then oh. trying to fist fight you when you don't give it to them. Yeah. Or telling people, don't go there. Don't go there, man. They I I, I bought two I bought two uh, full tanks of gas and I went there one day and I ain't have enough money and I asked them to let me get a tank of gas for free. He said, "No, man, fuck them. Don't go there." <laughs> some people, some people do shit like that. They fucking mean and shit. To other some people, you wouldn't, uh, you wouldn't post a big sign in the front that says "Black Owned." That won't. That don't mean that's nothing. A, man. That's a red flag. Yeah, that doesn't. Yeah. That doesn't yeah. I don't I get why that. people have to say it's black on. Like, duh, we see you black. It's, it's, well, it's a talk. It's a talk in your heartstrings. It's a. Yeah. It's, an, it's an appeal to the emotions. And it don't work. Though. It just make things worse. It make you don't want to go in there. Yeah, because you know the fucking see, service be terrible. Yeah, but I see sons all the time. That's all they say is, uh, you know, invest in black owned and help the black owned businesses. I, I, that's all over the place. Yeah, I, I just so, ask why? Why? Why should I? Sons don't do things that bear fruit. Like just because sons do something that doesn't tell you that there's evidence that it's worked in the past. You know what I'm saying? Like, we don't, just because we're doing something, like, usually when people do something, 
they're doing it because it's it's bared fruit or it's um you know what I'm saying it, it's 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 gotten results in, in the past. That's not like with us. We'll do something that hasn't bared any fruit in the past or that not got any results in the past. So like you can't just judge what we're doing by by that metric, man. Make a comment, um, Mac Knight, so I can mod you up, man. I can't mod you up until you make a regular comment. You, you gotta make a, you just gotta, you gotta make a regular comment. Yeah, say you. say something nice about brown sugar. Yeah, say say say, say brown sugar. Um, I don't need y'all pandering. Y'all got pandering me because <laughs> they going they it's a little hate relationship with me. I could do a fucking twelve hours live stream. That comment section gonna be all about me. <laughs> they, they don't they care hate, about nobody they, but me. They hate you because they ain't you. Yeah, that's yeah. it. Exactly. They yeah, hate you because they ain't you. Yeah, go ahead and make a comment in the comment section, Mike. Make sure I can mod you up. Oh, there you go. I see. I see. Yeah. I see. And yeah. I know I said computer crazy. That's my accent. I just, my words, I don't know. It's just yeah, the, out chat, the chat, the chat, the chat saying you need to start speaking English. <laughs> I do speak English. Say computer one more time. Computer. <laughs> Stop it. Stop it. I don't care. <laughs> for some reason, hold on. For some reason, Magnate, your um comment ain't showing up on my phone. I don't know what the fuck is going to comment again on so I, so I can get it on my phone. Yeah, because I'm when I'm on the, when I'm looking on the computer, it ain't it ain't showing up. <laughs> I don't. Okay, now you want to make fun of me, Ock? Okay. No, <laughs> what? I ain't making fun of you. I'm, I'm trying to because it's, it's, it's coming up on the computer. It's not coming on the computer, but it's coming computer. on the phone. Computer. Hey, Brown Sugar. Computer. Are are you prettier than the chat? Huh? Are you prettier than the chat? Oh, am I prettier than the chat? Yeah. Oh, of course shit. I'm prettier than Le Chat. <laughs> Why you, are you trying? Really? <laughs> Ma, she must want to smash Le Chat in one time. Yeah. Nah. Nah, not really. Nah, no. he said like he didn't know. <laughs> Gangsta Boo, I mean, I think Gangsta Boo was pretty, but not Le Chat. That's Masa shooting his shot. Gangsta Boo is dead as a doorknob. Well, I said, that's why I said she was pretty. I said, you know, not, not, no, Le Chat, I didn't really think she, I don't think she's pretty. It's too rough. She raps better to me. True. Yeah, man. I give you that. I can't. I don't know why I can't get to see your comments on my phone. It's like literally every comment comes up except for your comment. On, did I block you or did somebody? Did somebody block Mac Knight? Because I see your comment on the computer, but I don't see your comment on my phone. Because I, I can only, um, I can. Oh, you know what I can do. I go. I I know what I can do. Let me um. Let me um. Go ahead, comment right now, man. C comment right now. Let me see if I can um, do it on on the on the on the, um here. Go ahead, comment. They say you block them out. I I, no, I wouldn't have blocked them. It had to been a had to been a mod that did it. I wouldn't have blocked them. Um. Brown sugar, the chat wants you to say ambulance now. Ambulance. Okay, chick, y'all can kiss my ass. I'm not saying no more of them crazy words. Yeah, y'all, uh, y'all, y'all give her words to say while we're in having some downtime. <laughs> Shut up. Say, tra say ventriloquist, brown sugar. Hell no. Well, come on, brown sugar, you gotta admit, you gotta admit your that actions. That folks don't fly me. You want me to say what? Ventriloquist. Say ventriloquist, man. Ventriloquist. What? Van ventriloquist. You know the puppet master. The ventriloquist. Puppet. See there, yeah. I said it. Thank you. Oh wow! It took a lot out of me, but I said. Wow! <laughs> Look at her, man. Speaking, Say, say, say. I got on the computer to locate an ambulance. No. To come, to sure. come help my children. <laughs> Kiss my ass. <laughs> say gangster music. Kiss my ass, mouse. <laughs> no, you know what? I want to know if this works like this. Say like churn and butter. If you say churn and butter, will you say children? Because when you say children, you say churn. So if you say no, churn, I don't. Will you say children. Not, 
Because if I'm hype, if I'm hype up, <laughs> when I'm hype up, yes, my words come out, you know, crazy. But when I'm like calm, like right now, it's not. I'm not gonna talk like that. It comes out like a three six flow. But dude made me so mad, like. I blacked out a little bit, like the full some woman came out of me. Blacked out. Liter- you literally <laughs> blacked out. Well, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a fan of brown sugar. I just, I just have the wrong thing. Me I don't too. Know. Me too. Oh, I just, they just, this like, um, that's a derogatory term for me. All, all you needed was a, a DJ Paul. This beat like calling me a fire. bitch. <laughs> What's wrong with that? Yeah, I What's just saw, like, calling me a bitch. I don't know. I remember like <laughs> it's a term of endearment. Right? It's a term of endearment. <laughs> All right, man. I can't, Mac Knight, man. I'm waiting for you to comment, but I'm not. I'm, I got more move on. Go ahead, go ahead, comment so I can see you can 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 um can um mod you up, man. But uh, yeah, man, it's it's crazy. Um, <sighs> lined with a homeless encampment, crime, and blight. They lighted up fire doing a barbecue and stuff like that, that this building caught fire. The area is so bad, Singh can't get liability insurance to cover it. Today, I got declined from almost uh, eight or nine insurances. He shared this email from his insurance broker reading coverage was declined because of crime scores in the area. Now, the city of Sacramento is agreeing to vacate this block of Altos Avenue, handing control over to Singh to clean up himself. City not gonna do anything, Just they just abandoned the property and Basically, they don't want don't want to maintain it, so I I'm going to maintain it from now. What they call they vacate the property. Vacate the property. Don't even feel comfortable walk in by them. You just never know. Janetta Choa and her daughter live close to Singh's business, which also has a children's playground across the street. Achua won't take her daughter there. I, myself, and my child know. Daniel Savala is the executive director of the Business Improvement District here, trying to help businesses succeed. How important is that corner? to what you want to see in North Sacramento. That's the gateway to old North Sacramento. You got the private sector, those private dollars that you really want. When they get to communities like this, they they hit some obstacles. A public street, now a private investment. This business owner is hoping to turn this blighted block into a building block for a better North Sacramento community. What would you like to see this be one day? I want to be one day Anybody can walk in here fearly, fearless. Enjoy this area. I promise I want to see it. I'm going to see it. I want it. I'll be burned to the ground. That block. Yeah, good luck with that, man. That's never going to 